The Blade is Asperia's recreation of the feared Vandal Light Fighter. The bane and demise of many a UEE pilot, how does this harbinger of death stand up to the human competition? As always, I start with a disclaimer. I'm never going to suggest purchasing a ship with real money outside of the starter packs, which is currently the Aurora and Mustang, as you can earn or find everything in-game. If you want to put more money into the project, that's your prerogative, but I'm not going to advise you either way. That all said, the Asperia Blade. The Blade players have access to are actually replicas made by the Asperia Corporation since roughly 2880, for the sole use of the UEE Navy as a training craft. In fact, any blade you get into is a battle-hardened retired military ship 10-20 to 20 years old. The real blades, however, have been plaguing humanity for much longer, as far back as 2681, forming a key part of Vandal raids against human settlements. As a ship with no interior, there's little to say here. The Blade is one of many ships yet to see physicalised components, but expect relative ease in terms of access. Personal storage is standard, though it lacks any weapon racks. From the cockpit, you have decent visibility, although there are several large struts which can obscure your view. You also get four well-placed MFDs. As a light fighter, it's all about dealing damage and avoiding damage. On the dealing side, the blade comes with two size 3 hardpoints, as well as two size 2 hardpoints. I'm not sure if this is by design, but at the time of recording, the stock weapons cannot be swapped out, so you are stuck with this loadout. With that said, these are good weapons, and is actually enough to out DPS every other light fighter in the game as long as they're not using ballistics. For ordnance, you have two bespoke size 3 racks, totalling 8 size 1 missiles, with the ability to fire 4 missiles at once. Defensiveness isn't bad either, with two size 1 shield generators, as well as tying with the Gladius for the highest effective health of all the light fighters. It does lose some armouring compared to the competition, although it's a small enough difference to currently be irrelevant. Handling wise, it's what you'd expect of any light fighter. With 10.2g of forward thrust, it pushes to an SCM of 214 meters per second in just over 2 seconds, and a max speed of 1238 in just over 12. Stopping wise, you have 3.6g of thrust, which is reasonable. Lateral acceleration is 3.1g, with vertical being 6.3 up and 3.8 down. Now it's important I add context here. The blade does have a higher top speed than any of the other light fighters, but it has the lowest acceleration, which can be far more important in a dogfight. Rotationally, you have 55 degrees per second of pitch and yaw, and 198 degrees per second of roll, which is equivalent to the Gladius, and places it slightly above the arrow, but below the talon. Atmospheric capability is also excellent, maintaining a high speed, with minimal resistance to changes in direction, and quick alignment of velocity to the nose. So is there a place for the blade? It's a difficult one. It fits into the light fighter group nicely, offering slightly more damage at the cost of a slightly more sluggish and fragile frame. However, agility is a key component of what makes light fighters as good as they are. If you want to make those sacrifices for those gains, the medium fighters offer that, whilst also being able to take more damage. Then there's the issue of cost. The blade is 3.4 million UEC, three times the cost of a gladius, and almost four times the cost of an arrow, Incidentally, the same applies to real money too. For the same cost, you can pick up and fully outfit a Super Hornet, or grab anything in the Vanguard series, which offer not only substantially more functionality thanks to having an interior, but can take a beating and deal the hurt. If you do want a light fighter, save your creds, stick with the Gladius and Arrow. As for my blade, for which I thank every one of you who used my referral code, as of an hour ago, it's a Vanguard, with my Avenger continuing to act as my light fighter. And that's all on that, let me know your thoughts on the blade down below, and whilst there, remember to like, subscribe, etc, you, you, you know the drill. And with that, I thank you for watching, I'll catch you all next time.